Lou Schrenkel's Volkswagen looks like any other passenger car of its kind. But it is different. That alarm goes off every time he starts driving the car. But there's some problem with the fuel system. Of course there is. <laughs> we didn't get rid of the beeping that tells us, uh, so we still got the beeping that tells us there's a fuel system problem, yes. This vehicle's diagnostic system can't find the engine because there isn't one. It was replaced with an electric power plant. That's not unusual, but how the juice is stored is unique. Schrenkel leans in the back door. Okay, pull in the module, connectors released. All right, now this module contains 48 lithium iron phosphate batteries. It weighs about 30 pounds. Again, that's about twice as heavy as it needs to be. The car has just over a dozen individual batteries that work together to feed the engine. Each can be pulled out and replaced in less than a minute. Back in. And it's now engaged. And that is what makes this car completely different. Electric cars typically rely on one large battery. Those might need to be charged overnight or with a fast charger fill up in a couple of hours. UCSD engineering professor Raymond de Califone says that refueling model isn't practical. His hot swappable batteries can refuel electric cars quicker and more completely. Imagine that uh, now you'll be driving your car and let's say it's 40% or 50% uh, empty. You would have to charge it. Um, here you could actually potentially take, if you have 10 models in the car, take five out. Those are the ones that are empty and put five ones in and you're completely replenished. DeCalifone says he's developing a control system that will manage groups of batteries. They can be older and newer, full or partially empty. And his control system will allow the batteries to work together to feed an electric motor. Once a standardized system is developed, he imagines all sorts of batteries sharing electrical work. To be able to, uh, to have this, this flexibility of moving energy around, uh, we see that now with people that like to store maybe their energy from their solar in, their, in a battery in the garage and be able to move this into your car or um, yeah, move these batteries in other utilities that you have, maybe a lawnmower or uh, any equipment that needs this kind of batteries. DeCalifone says the concept has a chance to change the way people use electricity, and the system could completely upend the electric car business. The challenge is, of course, is that the batteries have to work as a system. It's a really systems way of thinking. They have to be part of the integration. So having the communication up and running correctly, having making sure that the batteries always work properly the way they're supposed to be working, you know, the communication behind it, the control technology behind it, so they become fail-proof. Uh, is one of the challenges when you do a modeling system like this. PhD student Xin Zhao works in DeCalifone's lab. Here, I, I just want to turn on the, the, the power supply. So we want to simulate the, uh, the batteries. So each power supply, yeah, it's, uh, uh, I'm setting the, uh, the voltage and current output of this. Zhao is helping refine the control systems that let the batteries communicate wirelessly. Complex algorithms manage each battery's voltage and storage capacity and communicate with both the car and other batteries. Those controllers can also gauge demand and then pull power from certain battery modules or from all of them. We want to uh, deploy it like a certain amount of modules rather than the entire battery pack, so we, uh, or charge it back or, uh, or so. So if there's a chance, we can, we can uh, get this done. And then the scheduling will uh, be a good feature for, the, uh, for this technology. The real proof comes this summer. That's when a team of researchers, students, and volunteers take the car on a cross-country odyssey. The idea is to drive more than 2,500 miles from San Diego to Charleston, South Carolina. If we're driving across the country, we figure there'll be about 20 to 25 stops. That's plenty of work. And we're doing all that in a period of two days. The two-day trip is possible because there are no long charging stops. Battery modules will be swapped out in a matter of minutes, and the car will continue on its way. It's a grueling 45-hour proof of concept that could have engineers swapping new ideas about how batteries power electric vehicles and other appliances. Inserting the module. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.